Hi guys and welcome to another video. Today we are continuing with our grade 12 paper 1 maths preparation and we are doing question 4. Now we're moving on to functions. If you are wanting to do this paper from the beginning with us then please uh, check out the playlist where I do these questions in order from 1 to the end. Okay, so let's get to it. Okay, so question four is a hyperbola function, uh, fx equals four over x minus three plus four, and they ask the coordinates of m. Okay, so the coordinates of m is where the two lie an asymptote here of x equals three. Okay, and for uh, the plus four, that means that we have a asymptote of y equals four. Okay, and so we know then that the value of m is therefore 4, and then the x value is 3. Okay, so the coordinates of m are 3 and 4. Okay, notice that the sign changes for x. Okay, so if x is negative 3, we know that the uh, asymptote is x equals 3, whereas 4 is intuitive. 4 corresponds to 4, but with the x we change the sign. So if it had been x plus 3, it would be x. The asymptote would have been minus 3. Okay, let's get to the next one. So the next question we are asked, uh, the coordinates of d. So the d is the y-intercept of the form uh, of the hyperbola. And so to get the y-intercept, we make x equal 0, right? So y-int, we make x equal 0. Okay, so we get uh, 4 over 0 minus 3 plus 4. Okay, and so we get uh, 4 minus 4 over 3. And we pop that in our calculator or some do some basic... Uh, arithmetic and we get 8 over 3. Okay, so we know the D is then 8 over 3. Okay, that's the, uh, and of course that's the Y value and then the X value is 0. Okay, perfect. So let's move on to the next one. And so we have, um, now we are told that the y equals x plus t is the line of symmetry and we need to then calculate t. Okay, so when you get your lines of symmetry, I like to look at it visually. Okay, and so the lines of symmetry of a hyperbola, look, you just have to ignore the 4, okay? So you write it like this, y equals x minus 3 plus 4 and what you do is you put this in brackets the x the part that's under the 4 and then it makes it plus and minus because you get two axes of symmetry right the other one is going to be there with a negative x but of course we want the one with a positive x so i'm just going to do the one with a positive x right so if i make this positive x plus goes in and makes it still minus 3 plus 4 and we get y equals x plus 1. So we know that the value of t is 1. Okay, let's go on to the next one. And so we are asked, determine the values of x for which f of x is greater than or equal to 0. So where is it positive? Uh, no, negative. It's negative because it's going towards 0. So where is it less than or equal to 0? Okay, so where is it below the uh, x-axis? All right, and we can see there, let's get a highlighter, and we can see that it's over here. Okay, but then we need to know what c is, right? Because it's, it's going to be from c to our uh, asymptote. Okay, so for this, we need to figure out what c is by making, uh, this is the x-intercept, so we make y equals 0. So we have 4 over x minus 3 plus 4, make the y equals 0, take the 4 across, um, and so we get um, 
uh, negative 4 equals 4 over x minus 3. Cross multiply, negative 4 x minus 3, 4 times 1 just gives you 4, and so you get negative 4 x plus 12 equals 4, negative 4 x equals negative 8, and so we get x equals 2. Okay, therefore x equals 2. And so we know then that it's between 2, it's equal to 2, but it cannot equal the 3. Why not? Because it's an asymptote and it ne never touches. So our final answer will be from 2 to 3, x, but it can equal 2, but it cannot equal 3. So we don't put an equal to. So this is our final answer here. Uh, underlined. Okay, let's go to the next one. The coordinates of A. Okay, so I'm going to clear this now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this on the screen and I want you to try and do this on your own in the next video we will go through this one. So, uh, coordinates of A, just a little hint, that is where the axis of symmetry that y equals x plus 1 that we calculated equals the hyperbola, okay, and you're going to get two answers, and A will be your answer uh, where x is the biggest, okay, because it's further along to the right. So try and do that in your uh, on your own, and I will see you in the next one. Please like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we will continue to uh, prepare for our paper one. Thanks very much for watching, and we will see you soon.